Hi, I'm Christy Ritz King with the Right Hand Mom, and today's edition of Vlog Mom answers the questions: What would you tell um, a couple about to get married? What advice would you give a couple about to get married? Or what would you tell somebody who is questioning whether they should get married? And I sort of thought that I couldn't do this completely alone. I needed my partner in crime to help me answer these questions. Although I might be regretting that decision. <laughs> but Wait so this answers. is um, the husband in the flesh. His, Kevin is here joining us tonight for Hi. our vlog episode. Um, so I'm going to start because it's okay. my show. So I get to start. Okay. And the first thing I would say is to, for, about the actual wedding, um, stop every once in a while in the madness of the process. And this actually holds true for your marriage, I think, too. Stop in the madness of the process and remember the person that you you know, used to be giddy over or couldn't wait for the phone to ring or got butterflies in your stomach. Because typically by the time you get engaged, you know, maybe some of that initial romance is lost and you get sort of wrapped up in the excitement of the wedding. You don't think so? <laughs> well, I'm just surprised. 15 years in and I thought the romance was still alive and well. I didn't realize that some of it had cooled. <laughs> I mean, maybe some of the butterflies aren't exactly as large as they used to be. Is, I'm, I'm glad I'm involved in this. This is a new experience <laughs> for me. I'm learning, you know a, learning a lot. This is an informative video in case Marriage you wonder. therapy mm -hmm. on Vlog Mom sure. today. Anyway, stop and think. 15 years in or the day of the wedding, just remember who the person was that you fell in love with and remember that's why you're there. And it's not about, you know, your dress or the cocktail reception or anything like that. And it's not about the bills or you know, who left the toilet seat up or any of those things. You fell in love with this person. It's the same person at their core. And they're not purposely trying to ruin your life if they left the toilet seat up or they don't throw their clothes in the hamper or they put their Splenda packets on the counter and never clean them up. You make it sound like I do that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, okay. I was I just the, wanted I'm to be, telling on myself. I wanted to be clear the for the packets. viewers. Um, I think it's important to remember that because you can get wrapped up in, we tend to treat the people that we love the most probably the worst, and I also sometimes think we expect the worst of the people that we love the most, mm -hmm. and I think it's important to remind yourself, A, you're, you're deeply in love with this person, and B, they're deeply in love with you, so probably these things that are annoying you and getting on your nerves and frustrating you aren't meant with some sort of malice and aren't, you know, or, they don't originate in, in hate, they're, they, you know, they're just personality quirks and that's what you need to work through so that was like eight things in one so yeah, i'll let you that talk that was the world's longest <laughs> tip i sorry, think sorry that was multiple tips in one yeah i my... have a lot to say about marriage you can tell. my tip right, is up. learn to be quiet no no i right. think mine uh, um is actually very similar to yours which i think is not uh, uh you know unusual for us to have similar Share a brain. Uh, yeah, well, to have similar approach to, to things. Mine also is um, in the the run up to your wedding. Don't let the uh, sort of act of getting married get in the way of your relationship. And actually, that probably carries through after after too. It's easy to focus on on uh, uh, dresses and bachelor parties and. Uh, you know, showers and gifts, etc. And then after you get married on, you know, buying a home and fixing the backyard up and, uh, uh, you know, kid stuff, etc. And, and you need to remember that you're in an actual relationship with someone and being in that relationship is important. And, and the stuff that comes with that is important, but isn't a substitute for why you're actually doing this. You. Sometimes he's good. I didn't coach him. That was all I'm saying. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to stop because there's like five. You're supposed to get five, and we've already talked for four minutes, and that was two. So clearly we are no, no loss for words in this couple. Yep. Um, I will end with this, though, and it's actually his, but I'm going to steal it and give it to you as my own. Typical. So, yeah. Right. <laughs> Anybody who knows us knows that's exactly the I don't think I've ever had an original is. thought in yeah. 15 years. It's have always I? mine, and he's yeah. like, you know what I heard the other I'm day? Tell sure. it to me. Tell it to me. Exactly. Anyway. Some, some chick told me. It's usually what I say. Right. Something like that? Right. Something. <laughs> <laughs> um, something he told me early on in our marriage that I was 100% guilty of, and he stopped me in my tracks, and I think it's an excellent piece of advice for anybody, is don't keep score. You know, we've been together for, yeah. for we've been married for 15 years, we've been together for 20 years. If we went back during every argument to every little wrong that we've committed against each other, we never would have lasted six months. And so when when you fight... And when you forgive, 
move on and don't keep a list of all the ways that you've wronged each other because no one wins in that situation. So don't keep score. Remember why you married the person, stop and think about them, you know, reflect on the, on the, the reason for your being. And I don't know, I think make a little time for fun too. I lied. I gave you one more tip, but mm-hmm. just make sure you're having some fun because good God, life can be a lot of unfun. Yeah. And if you get mired in that, you're done. So yeah, if you can't find a, a way to laugh or be goofy or yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay. There you go. Well, there we are. Happy marriage. And if you're thinking that you don't want to get married, we both agreed. The thing is you really need to be quiet with yourself and think, do I not want to get married or am I just nervous? Because there's two different things. And mm-hmm. if you really sit with yourself and you think, I don't know, don't do it, man, because it is some serious yeah. stuff. But like I was... <laughs> I think I was terrified. Me too. Right My mom said, married. if you're not nervous the night before, there's something wrong with yeah. you. So I think nervous is one thing, you know, worried and, and unsure is, is a different. Well, story. it's different. Uh, nervous is one thing, but, but, um, concerned about having to spend the rest of your life, not just with another person, but yeah. this specific person. <laughs> that's, I think point. that's a red flag. All right. I think so. We're going to end there. So have some fun. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you.